Hey there, how's it going? I'm Robert from Dolphin Street. This is the Line 6 Pod HD300. And the Pod HD300 is a very, very capable little unit. You can use it as an audio interface to your computer. You can uh, plug in a USB cable from the HD300 to your computer and record directly, which is very convenient and, and it always sounds great that way. Or you can do, as I'm going to do today, plug the HD300 into an amp. That also works really well. So let's bring the camera up close and we can take a closer look at how you can work this unit. So first of all, let me tell you about my setup. I'm running the HD300 into the clean channel green mode on a Marshall JVM410H. And I'm using an Avatar 212 cabinet with Eminence Wizard speakers and I have mic'd the cab with a Shure SM57. So my guitar tone without the HD300 being used is like this. So let's explore the HD300 now. You can see the uh, orange or amber color here which means we're in the manual mode. So now we can start by engaging in one of the amp models. I can start turning this knob and you can see that we have, hopefully you can see on the, on the video here, it's maybe a little bit too far away, but there are eight different amp models around this knob. And for each there's two different, actually two different uh, amp models so we have two clean, red, green, and we have two pawn shop, two blues, two boutique, two class A, two crunch, two high gain, and two metal. So in total we have 16 amp models. So the, um, the way you can use this then is to you find one of the amp models that, that you like, and you can then click on the amp button here. Then you can turn the amp model on or off at any time. So if I do that, let's see what sound this is first. That's the pawn shop green. And if I turn it off, That's a pretty cool tone. So next we have FX1, FX2 and FX3 and uh, these knobs then or buttons just turn on the effects and you can then choose effects up here. So FX1, if I turn off the amp model and go back to the regular clean Marshall tone here, I can then turn on the FX1 and we'll get a gain effect going. And if I turn the knob here I can see, oh it's a screamer and I can then see how much, visually see on the display here, how much uh, gain is being added. And so it would sound something like this, the first without it.
So that was without the amp model. Now if I go back to the clean sound, add the amp model, and then add the screamer, it would sound like this. <laughs> That's a lot of gain there. So let's go back and change to, let's see what we can find, a blues red, which is a tweed B-man. <laughs> sound now I can there's a reverb knob over here so I can turn it up a bit to see we add a little bit of plate reverb that's a bit much I'll turn it down a little bit Pretty cool, and let's see FX2. We have modulation, filter, tremolo. That's an analog chorus. We can have a seeker. Kind of a funky effect. Tremolo is really always nice to have available. The third one is a uh, tape echo. There's also a digital, digital delay and uh, an auto volume effect. The digital delay is very straightforward. You just turn the knob to decide how much you want. Tape echo. And the auto volume, it works like this. So the, the sound just comes a little bit it sneaks in a little bit later after you have played it. So these are just some of the effects. You have a lot more you can choose from when you go into the deep edit mode here. But uh, that's the, uh, the orange or amber manual mode here. So anytime you have a sound that you like, you can of course store that as a preset. So let's do that. Let's find, let's see, pawn shop, turn off the effects. <laughs> And we can of course turn these knobs, which uh, these these knobs uh, are are for the amp then being used. So we have a drive, bass, mid, treble, and and uh, channel of volume for the amp itself. So we can experiment with that too. So on this on the green pawn shop, that's the um, the Gibtone 185. It's actually one of my favorite amp models on this unit. It sounds like this with a drive low. And 
and as we drive, uh, add the more drive to it, it starts to break up quite a bit. It's kind of wild. Turn off the reverb a bit. So that's way too much. I like it low. And we can add uh, a bit of gain here. Uh, on the gain knob, we have uh, we have a, a, the screamer. We have a spring reverb. We have smart harmony. Which I probably wouldn't use so much, but it's kind of cool when you want to, in fact, when you want to have something wacky going there. So I can set the screamer to fairly low, the drive low on the amp. That's pretty good. Uh, how about a little bit of reverb, plate reverb? Off the screamer. And now I can save it. So I, I press save over here and then I can turn the, the preset button here to a place where I want to save it at. Right now it says 01A. I can turn it. Uh, uh, if I turn the knob here, it's, uh, it spells, uh, it let me actually name it. It goes through the alphabet and the numbers. So 45, 55 and so on. I can actually write something that way. A little clumsy. It's a lot better to use the, 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 the edit software that you can download for free on Line 6 because then you can make all these things a lot easier on the, on the computer. You can edit and, and save and, and name things by just typing on your keyboard which is a lot easier than to try and, and write this way. But then I want to um, I want to save it somewhere, so I'm going to press the down button, uh, the down arrow here on this button. So I go to 30, just to so I'll know where I put it. Let's put it on 30. I'm going to put it on 30A, and I press save. So now I have it on 30A. So if I press 30B, let's see what we have there. Now I have to go into the green mode here, which is the preset mode. So 30A is the sound I just made. And the 30B, seven bells. So it comes loaded with a whole bunch of presets that you can explore and play around with and, and, and tailor to your own needs and then you can resave them under different names. It's 30C and this is 30A that we made. So that's how the uh, the green mode works. Just uh, have your presets saved, and um, each uh, switch here is A, B, C, and D. That's how you can then go between them. Okay. Now we have also a red mode, which is a um, a looper mode, and that's first you pick a sound that you want. You can use this one, and then you uh, you can play a rhythm, and pressing this button will start recording it.
So now it's uh, in recording mode still, so if I start playing, it will record that. If I press this one again, it's no longer recording, so now I can uh, just jam over this. I can change to a different sound, of course. Add some gain. basic but it's it's fun to have and when you're practicing and you can do cool stuff with that live as well if you if you're good at looping okay so that should give you some ideas of how you can use this I like to just use it in in this amber mode and just find a cool sounding amp model that I like <laughs> add uh, whatever effects I want to have there. A bit of tremolo is cool. That was fast. And a little bit of uh, delay. Basically, play around with that until you get a sound that you like, and then you can save it as a preset. There you have it, the HD300.